What is up, everybody? And welcome back to the Serie Audio Experience with IFTV. Antonio, you're finally back. Everybody's been waiting for you to come back onto the podcast. Back from Bali. They see you a little bit. Drum roll. And it's a couple words. How do you feel it's, to be back in America? I don't know. I'm still have jet lag, guys, but I'm okay. Antonio, you came back. You were plus one. Now it's a little cold. It's negative four over there. You see what happened? You see what happened? You see what happened? Listen, I have to tell everybody. Look, look at the hat I'm wearing right now. Yeah, you can't this get is too thanks bad to it. Antonio. Supposedly, this was uh, sold right by the the house of Antonio Cassano. So I feel honored because he's a just great. Found it like laying over there. He's, he's, a, he's, he's a great Inter fan. giving them away. That's why I said it. <laughs> <laughs> and they, yeah, I'll give it to him. Why not? Uh, and we got Ludovico back again. So we 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 got five. I people. never left. Yeah, I you stepped know. here for this beautiful <laughs> hat over there. Oh, yeah, Ludovico. Ludovico. You both two uh, what well, why did you get Ludovico? You always get Ludovico when Napoli loses. No, no, we had him last week. <laughs> why did we? Oh, yeah, you had him last week. <laughs> we had him the, well, last oh. week, man. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> everybody, everybody loves to hear. How I come when Napoli loses? When Napoli wins, they tie. You see this? Yeah, till the end, right? Yeah. I'm the voice of Napoli, the voice of God. Okay. Wow. Hey. okay. And, and we, we have everybody because hey. I think <laughs> I'm the voice of reason. Uh, everybody was looking. I think me, Ludo, and Peter, we had a few times we were looking over for you last week when we were recording our podcast. And uh, we, we took over some of the Spalletti banter for you. We were giving him some praise actually last week. To for, Spalletti? To, for Spalletti. Oh yeah, my yeah. God. For the, for the good things that he did. You know, sometimes he does some good. Yeah, but then he just changed everything. Yeah. You know what? That guy. <laughs> Since you brought day. up this loser over here, it's like a cat that has seven lives. Every time he's about to die, he always finds something to to come back to uh, what alive. What an analogy! Let me right tell you there. something. The guy was about to be sacked. If he lost the game against AC Milan, he would be sacked. 100 percent uh, all of a sudden it gets lucky the guy clips a, a little bit of food over the, the, the uh, idiot over there we played that was better we played better the whole game you played better, the the better, better, you played better. what does that mean are you, you crazy better? i was there <laughs> listen to me you, you were there oh my god if i was you over saw there, the I game on tv we saw it live oh. <laughs> and we saw the game better than you because you didn't see shit oh no i know we were in the alps i mean we were in the uh Show us what Piontek did in celebration. With you. <laughs> boop, 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 boop. Oh, no did more bullets. No more bullets. Yeah, because you guys didn't react to the derby. We didn't have everybody here. Wait, yeah. speaking of that, wasn't there um, a, bet? a bet? Was there a bet? There well, was. That was no bet. <laughs> yeah, there was. <laughs> did you, did you do it? Where's the flag? I did. I put it on... That's You're supposed book. to hang it outside your I house did. for a I week. I had it. I had it. One week. I think it's for a year. Yo, the flag has not moved from no, that the table no, the entire time. No, that flag. I had another inter flag. As soon as somebody came over to the house and saw the flag hanging, they, they, they burned the flag. I they got you. You, <laughs> they got the they got the, the house. house. I know. <laughs> Good thing Peter has another flag, so we'll put that right uh, on the house. I have to see it for a week. Are you going to see it for a week? No, Peter, come to my toilet. It'll be there. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going we're, we're gonna to have to set it up this week, and then we'll we'll go on Instagram. Yeah, okay. We'll go on Instagram yeah, stories. Right, right. Uh, at Italian Football you know, TV if you're not following. One time, my uncle had the Inter flag hanging from his house, and they thought he was in a cult. They're like, what kind of flag is it? Because oh, no, no, he was here. He was in America. Yeah. Oh hilarious. my god, that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> the Spalletti cult. <laughs> it was. It was probably Antonio calling it in. Like, yeah, this guy's got a horrible flag in front of his house. Do a prank one of these on those guys. I know. I'm Peter. I'm me. You're gonna tell him right now. No. <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna know. No worry. He's gonna. He's gonna know what's the coming. The guy. He had a couple shots of Amaro. He doesn't even uh, remember what we just said five minutes shots. ago. <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna forget about the bet in a few. Oh, more. Yeah. Give him a few more. Mm. Anyway, uh, we had another uh, up and down surprises in Serie A. I feel like every time you think that you know what's gonna happen. The Serie A hits you, and uh, the opposite happens, Surprise. or at least at least a lot of the time. We'll start off with uh, with <laughs> Milan Udinese, mm -hmm. since uh, we we were here at the studio. We watched it with Antonio live uh, at halftime. Antonio, I, I'm sorry, I got to spill the beans a little bit, but at halftime you were feeling good. You know, Il Pistolero, Piontek scored. Look, you're wearing the shirt. That we have available on our shop right oh, yeah, now yeah, right. for Pistoletto. Is there any sale? Any sale? Still There's no sale, sale. It's, but it, much, it's, it's, it's for sale. It's okay. for sale. It's $1.99. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> ItalianFootballTV.com. <laughs> um, 
so you're you're feeling good. You're predicting three zero three one. You said, "Watch out, Napoli. We still could get second place." And then all of a sudden, towards the end of the Listen, match, and this one more. Technically, we could have scored the two nothing. This would be over. And then on that that counter attack, that's what they did. They got lucky, and uh, you know, soccer is suck sometimes. You know. Then we all got hungry the second half. Yeah. Yeah. Well. Listen, if Cutrone would have scored that, it would have scored the two one. Nobody would be fucking freaking crying. <laughs> okay, so yeah, but football is a game of chances. You know how many games you could go back and say, oh, I would have scored this. Almost scored the last. I yeah, last Udinese too. Two. They had a chance Imagine at the end. Could have, would have. Yeah, it doesn't count. You anything. know, I I think I to give Milan credit, I like that Gattuso. He put um, Piontek and Cutrone together. That's with, the winning with, formula. That's with the Paqueta formula. behind them, and I think Paqueta was the best player mm -hmm. of the first half. But then he got an injury, mm -hmm. which is more serious than I think that they expected. What, you guys, I, what is it? What's the injury? He's missing the Juventus game. Shh. Yeah, for sure. And Donnarumma Actually, one month. Donnarumma, Donnarumma, Paqueta, and Conti with, all out against Juventus. He was out too. He, he I know, but what down. happened with the Donnarumma? Why is one month out? What did he uh, do? Pulled um, a, uh, he pulled a muscle. So it's four week, three to four weeks. Oh, you have Pepe Reina. Pepe yeah, is not the bad. The leftover of Napoli, the crumbs of Napoli. We, we, we got He's not out. bad. Yeah, Pepe yeah, is not yeah, bad. No, I think not, but you're going to have likely Kessia and Suso will be ready okay. for that match. But you're going to be without Donnarumma, Paqueta, and Conti. But uh, I, I liked how you started, but then... Conti so, injured too. You play yeah. B, yeah. You're gonna yeah. play with ten men. Mm -hmm. so you might as well leave him on the bench. Uh, B is a great player. Just jealousy. Great. You don't have it. You don't have that. Something like that. So what did you what did you think? What did you uh, make listen, of this? Listen, listen. This was a very weird week. Nothing that uh, you know. Uh, I'm still jet lagged thinking about it. About this whole uh, this whole uh, situation. Napoli lost. Inter by chances with the to win four chance. nothing. This, by four chances. These losers, a bunch of losers over there. They lose against they lose against stupid teams and they wind up winning against Genoa. They lost against Genova. Lazio. Genoa is not an easy team. No, know, Genoa but, is uh, not the same anymore to the Serie A. Genoa season, technically speaking, is over. Why? Because basically they can go up, they can go down, they can go to Serie B. Do so you think they made a no more. But they made a deal. You think they made a deal? Uh, no, no, no. It's not a matter of deal. It's a matter of uh, motivation. Uh, motivation. Motivation that uh, when you have nothing more mm. to say to the uh, to the championship, you basically, don't pay 100%. you 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 reach your goal. The mm. goal of General was to stay in Serie A, and they're in a comfortable, warm position right in the middle, and mm. they can go up. They're not going to go down. So as as Peter did uh, know, they're relaxed. Let's say. Uh, Peter, say what? Well, what is it? The no, team? I was looking at the points and stuff, and actually Genoa, they might seem like because there's so many teams in between them, but from 11th place, which is where Genoa is standing, yep, to uh, 18th place, uh, where points? Bologna is right now, right. it's a six point. Oh, that's difference. not that comfortable, up, uh, uh, Ludo. It's yeah, from 33 so teams, uh, over there. Too. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I would not feel that comfortable with six points. 33 right to 27. Oh no no! So it's still, it's still a lot to play it's for. still a lot to play yeah. for, mm. but even though there's so many teams in there's, that mix, there's a huge you know amount of teams. So you, I think, I think if you win one more game, you know, with I think with 36 to 38 points, you'll be okay. Usually they say with 40 points, you're mm -hmm. saved. How many more games left? Seven, six or seven? Seven. seven. Let me try. Genoa is coming to Napoli on uh, on Sunday. Boy, so Sunday afternoon, that, two thirty. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I don't know. <laughs> Listen, it could be uh, if Genoa plays the way they know how to play, they could get a tie from uh, from Napoli. I'm mm. not because uh, Napoli's mind will be the cup will be on the on the Arsenal okay. game on uh, on Thursday. So I wouldn't be surprised Maybe if that would so be if that game Napoli, would be a tie. This yeah. Thursday, Napoli playing uh, is playing uh, next, next Thursday. Thursday. Yeah. Arsenal? Oh, that's a good There's game to watch. There's eight games, by the, by, by the way, left. Yeah. Eight so I won't be surprised if the napoli Genoa game would end in a tie. Yeah, it would not lost. surprise me. Uh, it would not surprise me at all. So what happened with Napoli today? What, was he... Was he uh, did not show up. Well, did, did not show up. What do you mean, did not show up? We, we never... We, did we, they put we the never, first team on the, on the field? We never, or they just, we, we, we oh, never no, got on the train. Didn't. We never left Napoli. It wasn't that. There, there, there was a bunch of, they didn't, there's they didn't a bunch of uh, players that they didn't play. No, we, didn't, we deserve playing, to lose. Who, who didn't was, play? Who didn't play? Empoli. Milik. Did Milik play? Yeah, Milik played. Mertens. No. No Insigne. No Insigne. No Insigne. No Insigne. hurt. Insigne is hurt. Mertens was on the bench. Zielinski played. Luperto played. Luperto played. Maximovic was on the bench. Yeah. Ay, there was ay, a, ay, was ay, a ay. Uh, uh, Fabian uh, was on the was bench. On the bench. Yeah. 
Yeah. What the hell? Then, then uh, that's what the question that I asked. So the team was not there to begin with. So Ancelotti yeah, didn't want to miss that. No, it's not. Uh, two, two players. Two players. You're taking players. about five or six players. Yeah, but here. you yeah. have to you have to give Empoli some credit because even oh, Empoli, 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 played, the week, Empoli played a great game. The week, Empoli played with the fire in their eyes. The week prior against Juventus, they didn't I mean, deserve to they, lose. They played such a great game against Juventus that I said this team is going to come out even hungrier at home. They were in Torino for that game. They were at home for this one. And you know those these bottom of the table teams, like we keep saying. They're the worst teams to play. Right. It's Especially almost, now. It's almost Especially better now. to play the first place, to play Juventus yeah. and play Napoli, because there's such a distance. And these guys, they're, they're making calculations in their head. If we get a point here, if we get three points here, if we could do this, then we could stay up. So a team like Empoli, who does, they've always played good football. You know, they always try to play. They don't try to sit back. They were 2-1 up. Even in the 85th minute, they were attacking. They were yeah. trying to get a third goal. No, they play with heart, passion, no, fire in their eyes. Deserve, Napoli deserved deserve. to lose. I agree with that. Napoli deserved to lose 100%. We did not, uh, we didn't do anything. We didn't even get on the field. We didn't even show up to uh, to play. So we deserved to lose. Yeah, um, it wasn't a good game. Uh, we we got to talk about the, the Saturday game, the other Saturday game uh, real quick. Unfortunately, there's not much to talk about with the result. Uh, Cagliari, Juventus. Because the entire thing got thrown under the bus after what happened by some idiots in uh, the stands of the Cagliari game. Uh, Moise Ken from uh, Juventus. Uh, but I mean, it, it seemed like the in, towards the 50th, 58th minute, there was booze coming from that section towards Moise and Alexandro and uh, Matuidi. Oh, wow. And um, once, once every Moise... Time, every time that they were touching the ball... Every time that they were that? touching the ball, them oh, three bad. were getting the only ones to be getting booed. Um, as the game went on, Moise scored in like the 85th minute and he went over to the Cali defense and he put his arms out. He went to win? He just, he, he scored a goal. He went to the Kurva. And he stood, and he stood, he stood in front of them Kurva. as they were throwing stuff at him and, and it, nothing hit him. Ooh. The the Cagliari captain, I think Cepitelli, he was trying to stop the whole thing, but it turned into a fiasco. Matuidi was complaining; he wanted the referee to stop the match. They should have stopped the match. Which which is supposed to the protocol should go into the referee's hands. They didn't stop the match, I guess, because the game was late. It ended up ending, but it turned out to be a really truly disgusting um, thing that we continue to see in Serie A. Unfortunately, mm. in these small cases. Um, I uh, think I think we're making much of a big deal because I, I bet you if you go over there in Cagliari, you might have no more than 10, 15 people doing this stuff here. Yeah, and but I think to trash the old Cagliari Tifoseria. No, no, no. I don't think anybody. Too, at the same time. There is a bunch of few of them, I would say. Right, well, Dude, What do you think? It's, well, my, my opinion is you're right. It's probably a few. Not, not everybody. Not well, this, correct, this is, this is need, where, you, this you is where the problem comes in. Yeah. That's where the problem comes so, in. Like Marcus said, so, you need cameras. You need to install cameras. You need to identify those people. And get them out of the stadiums. You're not allowed to enter any stadiums. Lifetime ban. I agree. When no, I'm just there. like England, it's you it's, identify, you yeah. throw them out, you're done. That's Last it. Ball. And people so stop doing it. It didn't. Absolutely. It didn't stop there. Allegri after the match, you know, he said that this is what he was saying. His solution to the problem is you get this person, you throw them out, and you don't give them one year ban. You don't give them two years ban. Lifetime. This person doesn't deserve to come back into mm. a stadium. Um, and it's 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 disappointing in that, any stadium. In any okay, in any stadium. Yes, I agree with and, him one hundred percent. And it's unfortunate because we saw. You know, everyone wants to say it only happened in Eng in Italy, but it also it's happened in England. And I think in England they do a better job at controlling the situation. You know, well, in England they'll throw you out. They they will identify you. What there's more cameras, there's more. They will do so it right there on the spot. They will do yes, it right there on throw the you spot. Out, and you have, and you have a lifetime. Uh, they're going to throw man. you right out. So Obama Young, an app, uh, a banana was thrown at Obama Young in the game this year. Tottenham by a Tottenham fan. The guy got taken. Goodbye. Never allowed inside a stadium again. And it That's does, it, it helps the problem because right now, this, to me, the real problem, yes, the culture mm -hmm. is, is not good for these people to be doing this because your first thought, and, and no matter what Keen, Keen does, there's no reason that you could ever, you know, ra do racial remarks to him. But um, at the same time, I think that the, the reaction from Serie on the clubs is horrible. To give Cagliari a fine, it makes no sense because fans don't care if your club is fine. What's 10,000 euros for them? It doesn't come out of them. But they wait, still get to go to the game. I still do not believe that Cagliari should be fine. I mean, Cagliari should have security over there on, on, on the field. Throwing the person out. Yeah, just throw the person out because, you know, Cagliari is still trying to... Uh, to build up, yeah, uh, but, you know. Uh, but they, when it when it was coming from so many people in that section, you think so? they, yeah. I think that they were saying that it's 
it was too hard. But either way, there's there's a video. You could see people doing horrible things on yeah. camera that you could identify the, and throw out, and then it will stop them from happening well, the, again. The difference is is the the group mentality. So, for example, in England, you don't see the hooligans as much because. The whole stadium, it, it's more individualistic. So, mm -hmm. like, you go with your family. You're right. not going with the ultras. In Italy, you still have the ultras that control a lot of the, the curva. They control so, the clubs. Yeah. Technically speaking, they yeah. control the clubs. And mm -hmm. the clubs are scared of, of the, exactly. uh, of the yeah. ultras. But, oh, yeah. but, all, oh, yeah. but also, it's so hard to control them, you know, because you, can't ha you have to have riot police that go to the curva to be able to even... You, it's unheard of to mm -hmm. try to take somebody out of the stadium and say, you're not coming in at that moment. Maybe afterwards you're able to identify the person and then give him daspo that he's not able to Why come so hard? back. You, safe. You identify because it's a, it's a group mentality. They don't oh, care how many saying, times ultras. You if you too. if you try to bring police over there, you're gonna create a mess. A war. You say. So you well, let the game once, end. Okay? Once you, I mean, there you could see. There's I've seen but, footage of you see certain people doing that. Once you start throwing out a few of them, one, two, three oh, yeah. for life, you won't see it again. It's a no, no, it has to be. It, it has to be. It has to be done. You have to hold, even if but, it's few. Few is too many. Yeah, oh, exactly. And the thing is. A lot of times it's like, uh, you know, when you're in the curva, every, anything goes, one, and you're able, it's like being on Facebook, right? Behind the computer, there's people that are, they're, they're bullies, they're able to do whatever, but one-on-one, mm -hmm. -on -one, they won't they won't say anything, they won't do anything. Mm -hmm. It's something that's got to stop, and it's something that's got to stop now, not mm -hmm. When 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 we absolutely, think about it, absolutely. it's gonna stop now because it's, it's ridiculous. The, it's the organized fans. Even yeah. today, today Icardi played, talking about mm -hmm. Inter, and the Curva Nord of Inter wrote an official notice that they're against Icardi, Icardi. Mm -hmm. playing. So now the Curva Nord is made up of what? Could be 10, 15, 20,000 fans that are unified. They speak as one, wow. and, they, and they, they write a notice, they write a letter, or they speak out on, on behalf, behalf of, these, of these thousands of, uh, of fans to the club. They say, listen, we are against Icardi, from uh, you know because he's playing we, we're against that at, at the same time though you know like i think it's totally okay for a fan base to say you know they they want to curse keen out yo it's fine you want to curse a guy out for playing for juventus for scoring a goal fine you know they scream pezzo di merda it's fine it's fine but once you take that next step to racially abuse someone that's, that's the point where it's okay it's, it's completely here's unacceptable the, and do. if our reaction to it is not good enough and then on top of that I think that the the thing that we have to talk about is is Bonucci after the match. Um, he in his first interview, I, I think he handled it horribly. What uh, did he say? He said that um, Keen shouldn't have. He said it was the blame was fifty fifty because Keen shouldn't have gone over and and stood like this in front of them. But like, number one, what, number what, one, what one second. No, what? No, no he he didn't say anything. He didn't say anything. He just stood there. So Bonucci was saying, I, I my understanding is you like uh, Kane was trying to say. Open it up. Bring it on. Oh, bring it on. I score. Like, you know, open yeah, it up. But, but, but it doesn't matter. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Absolutely. Yeah, but it doesn't, but no, it doesn't no, matter at all. It doesn't matter. Keen could curse. He could give them the finger and it wouldn't give them the right to, to racially abuse him. So, number one, Bonucci is talking about professionalism when he's probably one of the least professional players. Right. The guy, the guy, one of the most arrogant in Serie A. He's, he's such an idiot. The guy's an idiot. Number one, your teammate for Juventus and Italy is racially abused yeah, and you're questioning his professionalism as a 19 year old. You're supposed to be a leader and help him. The first thing you should say is not that. It should be, this is not allowed. Blame those guys who are doing that. Kent King could do whatever he wants. So, and then number two, he says he's not, he should know better if he goes over and does that. This is a guy who played for Milan, went to the Juventus stadium, scored a goal for the team that he played for, and, and does this. He, his celebration is wash your mouth, but he doesn't tell them to wash their mouth. And and then, you know, uh, listen, just to give a little bit more more context, then, you know, there was there was some idiots, not, not even going to say Juventus fans, idiots, which is in every fan base. They said horrible things about his son who were sick, right? Oh, that's not good. That's no, no, no. This was before when he was at Milan. Mm -hmm. So this guy, do, do you think if somebody said to him, oh, you shouldn't have done this to the Juventus fans, they did that to your son. He's... 
it, it makes no sense, you know? Yeah. Just because he does this and celebrates doesn't give those idiots the right to say something about your son. Just like Kim going to celebrate in front of them doesn't give them the right to racially abuse Comes him. Comes down basically so Bonucci, respect. Okay. Bonucci is an idiot for the way that he did that. A real captain. Have that. What, like what, what, a real captain, captain anymore. Exactly. Yeah, well, a, leader, but, it probably means uh, leader uh, and experienced player. Mm. A veteran player. Look, look what Chiellini said. International player. Chiellini came out and said the right thing. That's what a leader does. He mm. says Keane should be protected. Which is the truth. So from Bonucci, I'm very disappointed. It took him a day to come out, and he gave such a stupid response. Um, All right, listen to very this. This is what we're going to do. Very listen disappointed. Listen to me, guys, everybody home. This is a, a platform that there is no racism over here. The only racism over here is like, I hate Inter. He hates AC Milan. He thinks that Napoli is better than AC Milan. Or, uh, I don't hate anybody. Guy. No, but we don't hate I don't hate, hate Inter. I don't hate Well, Milan. I kind of hate Inter, though. <laughs> so I don't think they being racist. I don't, I I don't mean, hate... I don't wish them... Uh, I'm not saying that I hate them because, yeah, uh, yeah, you yeah. know... I'm uh, just yeah. very proud of my culture and I'm very proud of where I come from. Right, I come from Naples and okay. I'm a Napoli fan. That's okay. That's, but I don't hate any other part team. Of the, that's part of being Tifosi. You know, we grew up like that. You know, building up this kind of... Uh, you know, uh, rivalry. Well, you're from rivalry, Bari, you but know. you. <laughs> you know, yeah. Body comes first. Of he's course. half Neapolitan and half Sicilian. Oh, that guy's a bull. And he's also a thousand, a thousand, a thousand miles have been away. Cheating up for Inter anyway. A bunch of losers. Him but also anyway. basically from from Sicily, and he's yeah. also a thousand I'm not, miles I'm not away. Not a <laughs> This guy, my mom is from is Milano. Milano. Mike is a Minnesota. My home mom's side is Piacenza, so they're all Milan and Inter fans. I see. Anyway, better. All right. Anyway, anyway. No, yo, let's finish this shit here. Sorry, guys. Anytime that you see anybody making racial statement about, uh, especially the color of the skin of somebody, or uh, you know, or the, whether it is it pink or yellow or green or whatever, we are against that stuff over here. So uh, if you don't like what we are against, or in this particular case, we are against racism, but I don't think you should be watching us. I but like uh, we are uh, about being open. We are. Uh, this is the platform where everybody can. Uh, can, is, I, is welcome. And that's what fo football's unity. So football's that's unity. why bring, soccer is the, is the platform that brings everybody together. So uh, well, I strongly, I strongly believe it's a cultural behavior. Mm. I think it all has to start that the, the fans they need to be educated. Mm. That's where it all starts. Now rules sure. came out, I believe, back in September. He said, yeah that if three announcements are made over the loudspeaker, the referee can stop the game if there's a racial tension mm. from the they fans. They made announcements for sure. I don't know One, how many. But it has to be three. Now, it has to be three for mm. them to stop the game. Now, let's keep in mind the business side of the game. In order for a ref to stop the game, it has to be something really, really drastic. They're not going to stop the game because there's no time to make up these games. Mm -hmm. They play every three, uh, every three, three days. days Champions You're just stating why. You're not saying that they should, right? You're just saying why it's happening. Why yeah. it's happening. So mm -hmm. I, to I believe that they should basically stop the game right away. But then yeah, when are you going to make up this game? So now it has to come from the... It, it, it's a cultural issue where, especially in Italy and certain countries in Europe, the fans are not educated enough. Why they're not educated? Because I believe certain teams, certain clubs give too much power to the organized fan base. Mm. And look, the, the club, they're on the... They're controlled by these guys. It's like they own the club. And the presidents and the, and the, and the, the owners of the club... They're scared of these fans. They're constantly under pressure. I think you're right about that. So they basically, the, the presidents, they take a step back. So now the stadium is not mine. It belongs to the, most of the stadiums in Italy, it belongs to the, uh, to the municipality. Mm. Let them handle the situation. Mm -hmm. Because they're the ones that are getting the, uh, the, the, the cops and the, and the people that look after right. the fans. But I strongly believe that the games should be stopped. Mm -hmm. But the fans need to be. Ludo, educated. let me pick up on this one here. Do you think that some of those ultras or whatever, those uh, those fan idiots. bases, those idiots, mm -hmm. whatever you want to call them, they've been uh, actually paid by the by oh, the absolutely. club to go even away and uh, support the team? Absolutely, uh, uh, Antonio. How do these bombs or or fire? I mean, we went to see the game in Milano. There was a fire even in Napoli. There was a fire on the Curva Sud. Uh, and, and the other curve, but they were two fires, just like a, they get a, a fire like that you start in the woods. 
Ay, ay, how ay, do ay. this and then these bombs right uh, yeah, against happen. Milan bombs. The how do these get in the stadium yeah. so now these guys are allowed to go in the stadiums five six hours before of course bags are not checked nothing is checked because the club tells these guys let them in and let them organize because and let they, them set up they don't want to deal with that. so they bring everything inside the uh, the uh, the field mm. and everyone is afraid to say something because of the reaction mm -hmm. i give a lot of credit to england they've done a lot a lot of work they, they react much better than we react correct they're they, coaching they much more so advanced much better. than we are Listen, in, in italy family with kids over there nobody why, why would you go to I a game never, why would, i will never bring my child why would you go I'm to this game for your kid life? over there it's so stupid and to build on that what you were saying i think kairi's president is another idiot what he comes out and says and starts blaming keen for doing what he for standing there he says oh if it was if it was bernadeschi the same thing would have happened no he would have gone he would have gotten whistled or jeered he wouldn't have got booed right. based off his skin color so again saying all the coyote fans are fine they were doing what anyone would do but then you know i, I give respect also to sky who uh adani who was uh the journalist in sky he was he was screaming at the guy he said no matuidi alexandro and keen were the only ones that were booed so don't stick up for the people who are doing I'll something you, wrong i'll tell you what so i would it, recommend to some of those players you know what bought and what he did when he was playing exactly. last year on his line, he walked off the field so those guys if they, they actually have the power doing to them do during the game they can just i, I will just no, elect it, just to just walk off the field and then i will let the, the ref decide hey you are people you have people walking off the field i'm stopping the game it because uh, it should be the whole team both yeah teams. i would i would walk off because, yeah, walk off. because in, the end, interest. That's in the end interest that's the interest to what interest is there's there? too much there is but no at this, monetary at this, interest at, at this point it gets to to that there's no returning there's no returning even Correct. Muntari but, said the same thing he said the power should be within these guys that you say that's it we're walking off the field and make a statement that it's not going to be allowed okay, but get Marco, those guys if you just if you if you don't educate the fans okay and you walk off the field, it will happen again. You I, have okay, to educate the fan it's not, base. It's not the only I mean, thing. It's going to take time. It happened in England. Guys, don't you probably, guys, you guys are too young. Antonio and I remember in the 80s in England what was going on oh, with, the, with, with the hooligans. Yeah, time, yeah. I mean, even the World Cup in, 19, so, uh, in 1990 in, uh, in, those guys uh, in were Italy. Those weeks before the game. I mean, Forget about it. The, the, those guys were really, before. but it happened. I mean, I believe they were banned for five years to, from... Uh, European from European but Cup. then... There was laws, rules, and regulations yeah. that everyone had to respect. Nobody closed an eye. Nobody said, okay, one more chance, two more Which chance. Is what Don't we worry do. about Which is what you know, we the do. Italian way of doing things. Like we say, Naples, Auma, Auma. In England, they put their foot down. It has to stop. Yeah, exactly. But Luto, this stop. is not the first time that this thing yeah, is happening. Not. This is uh, this is uh, like a so so many times. Years, it's always few few episodes like this. Because we don't do anything yeah, to solve the problem. We don't do anything about it. You don't do it's anything about it. So the clubs release. I mean, you you cannot defend organized fans. You cannot defend them. You have to take. You 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 have to separate yourself from this from this fan base. From these guys that Listen, give you issues. I'm sure they have cameras over there. Yeah, they, they want to start. Not they enough. Can start right now. Maybe they need to add more, they but there's a lot of right stadiums. Now. I even saw a camera on an angle on, on just the field. You could see certain people inside what they were doing. It was disgusting. I'm not going to repeat what they were doing. But yo, you kicked the guy out. He was in the front row. If you go back in the footage, you can see what certain people were doing even after the fact that it happened. But anyway. Just to but correct, but now here we go, Mark. Now we go again. You're gonna you're gonna get ten guys, okay? You're gonna go to a particular curva and get ten guys thrown out. In today's Italy mentality, uh, culturally, that we're not ready. If the police take these ten guys out, what do you think the other ten thousand oh, are gonna do? Actually, the guy, this guy was not even in the curva that I'm talking about. Okay, but he was on the side. Let, and let, he was just let's, doing. This scenario: you got 10, 15, 20 guys. Thirty guys are gonna be start. They, they're gonna start escorting them off the field. But what do you think the other ten thousand right now with today's cultural ambiance in Italy? What do you think the other twenty thousand are gonna say to the police? Yeah. Leave nothing. them alone. No, nothing. they're not going to say anything. No, no. Absolutely. In England, they would applaud the police yeah. and help them score off because think... culturally they're they're much more advanced than us. Um, but in Italy, they, the police will be attacked. Leave them alone. Don't touch them. What are you doing? They didn't do anything. You're wrong. Leave them. It will be total chaos. You think so? Absolutely, a hundred percent. And that's why right now they're trying to avoid. So it's going to take a little bit of time. It's going to take years, but you have to start with rules and regulations and 
eliminating the the. Um... I'll tell you what I will do. I'll tell you what I will do. Okay, you you give them the warning the first time to the to the Cagliari or Juventus or Inter or whatever. I said, okay, guys, this is it. I said the next time around we're gonna get suspended. You, you, the game is gonna be uh, is gonna be uh, played in uh, clo- on closed door. You're gonna be losing all the revenue of the of the people b- buying the tickets and then join the game. Yeah, but the uh, fans live. don't care if, if they lose the revenue. It doesn't matter. They don't well, care. Well, at that they don't point, care. They will only care gotta, when you stop wait, them from going inside a match. If yeah, the no. fans they don't care, then the ownership is gonna have to care because they are in the business of making money, not losing money. So what they're gonna do? They're gonna start to install cameras. They're gonna start to install cameras. They're gonna say, hey, listen. We like you guys very much, but I'm sorry. This is the line. Don't cross it because if you cross the line, we're not going to have a team. And, and it has either, to start it's now. It's either you that. guys or, or the team. So we're going to have to right. just, uh, you know, uh, uh, look for the best interest of the, of the, the entire town and the, the region mean, you, over here. You still have in Italy certain fans, certain uh, uh, clubs that are not allowed to go watch the games outside of their own town. You see, yeah. this you, you're, you're not allowed. They're not there's allowed to of, buy, to, you know, to buy tickets if you live in a particular region and the team from that region is playing against hostile. another region. That you know, the the the, the two right. fan bases, the, the two teams. Right. That right. team, those fans are not allowed to go. So number one is you have to educate the fans, but everybody has to be. You have to make an effort, 300. And 60 degrees, and not that the the uh, the presidents, the club owners are going to say, "Oh, I don't care." It happened to Sterling last week right. against two I, weeks against Montenegro. I remember that. I remember that. Five one, England won. It happened to Sterling. Boom, Sterling scored the goal. He didn't care. Yeah, it exactly. happened to the other Chelsea player in Ukraine. I believe it was Europa League. The, the yeah, Chelsea player, Aloy, it a, happened. A young kid. Oh yeah, Odoi, 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 Aloy. Yeah, 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 yeah. It happened yeah. in Ukraine. Hudson, Odoi. So now Hudson, we have certain yeah, countries still in Europe that are still behind the Italian culture. Mm. Still behind. Still years away from, from reaching uh, uh, a, certain, a certain point. Mm. But Italy has, a lot of, has still a lot of work to do. But everyone has to work together. It has to be an agreement between all the, uh, all the presidents and all the clubs, the federation, the, the league, right. the federation and, the, uh, has to come up and, and, all the, uh, and all the clubs. Okay, I want to mm-hmm. I want to move on a little bit, but just to end, I want to also give a little bit of credit, uh, a lot of credit uh, to to Keen, who I thought he showed a lot of professionalism in the way that he handled it. Where a lot of times in this situation, you know, nobody, you can't put yourself in his shoes, but I think that he did a great job. He reacted with his feet. He didn't. He didn't do to me. He did nothing wrong in his gesture, and I've seen players handle it a lot worse. Um, even though they're justified, I think that the kid showed a lot of professionalism for a 19-year-old boy. Yeah. And even today, he was helping kids. Um, he was helping the less fortunate. Charity, um, right? He was at a charity right. today, well the day after yeah. all of this happened. And a lot of European players were also uh, very. They they praised yeah. them. Oh yeah, Balotelli, uh, Paul Balotelli, Koulibaly. Uh, uh, even he was even a lot of players all around, around Europe. Europe. We need those kids to play. Now now that we find a kid like this that is scoring, even playing Italian national team at that age, it's just a everyone. Um, needs to be supported it's like a major, a no matter major what. boost for the Italy especially right now that we need it because we yeah. need to uh, to show up uh, after yeah, we've been eliminated also, from the World Mark, Cup also Mark I want to touch just yeah. one minute and I don't want please I don't want the fans to think oh Juve- uh, Napoli is uh, 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 Ludo is a Napoli fan and he hates Juventus absolutely not but now here's another form of racism mm. when Napoli plays against Juventus mm. or Juventus plays at home against another team isn't that racist when they say oh uh, Mount Vesuvius. Yeah, absolutely. Wash them absolutely. with the uh, with, with the lava. It's Wash all the Neapolitans absolutely. with lava. They're Ter- useless. Territorial. They're, uh, yeah. They're, you know, territorial, they're, I think. So that's bad. isn't that racism? No, everything. That's also everything. racism. Yeah, that's so bad. what is that being done? It, it needs to be handled the same way, I would yeah. say. Absolutely. It's the same way. So now idiots, here we go. Idiots, idiots are idiots. $40,000 no fine. $30,000 no, fine. Do they do nothing. You pay for that. They do absolutely nothing. And, uh, Idiots are idiots, and they're going to be in every fan base everywhere around the world. We have to eliminate the them only, individually. The only thing that we can do is do, and I'm not is do a better on, job. You know, I'm not picking on Juventus. No, it happens with also, every... No, it happens with... Napoli also, when they go to Verona or when they go to Bergamo, it happens the same. No. It, it happens all around. Oh, Mount Vesuvius. Oh, these guys. No, it's, don't it's watch horrible. them. No, what that's also racist. Vesuvius? What does that no, mean? Vesuvio lava erupt. Yeah. Lava coming down right. and eliminate all the Neapolitans. Oh, no, it's bad. It's bad. And it happens a lot. And, and guess what? It keeps happening every single season because there's more Aye. fines and nothing gets changed. Right. 40, but 50. I, right. I think that the solutions that we gave are the only ones that work. And not because we're geniuses. Just because if we look at the models that have worked from England... 
All we got to do is just copy it and implement it. Copy and paste, right? That's it. That's it. Very simple. Let's move on to a lighter note. Um, no, but it's basically, if only the, <laughs> those Italian fans, they would have the, the mentality of the Italians that live outside of Italy. Outside, yeah. Just like us. Like us. But correct. That we can go to watch, that we could go watch a Rangers game and sit next to an Islander fan. Right. Yeah, yeah, it's different. It's very different. Nothing, you know, nothing happens right. or basketball, baseball. That's correct. It's it's that mentality that they except, have to Except if you're a Yankee fan time. and you go to Red Boston, <laughs> then, then it's a different story. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, Peter. <coughs> What's up? <laughs> Your team today. You're awake. Me, 4 I'm 0. Awake. Oh, Icardi happy. called back he's up. Happy, I'll tell you. Scores. I'm telling you, Wanda oh, tonight. Serious? Wanda is going to be so happy. Tonight is, Wanda's happy tonight. <laughs> Everybody's happy. Um, I think that the situation has finally gotten to that point where I think it could have come a little bit earlier. The, guys, the guy needs to play. The guy needs to play for the betterment of himself and for the betterment of Inter. Um, and it was a perfect game for him to come back in, which you guys won 4 0. So, how do you feel about the entire situation? The win and Icardi. No, the win is crucial. You know, we're in a point where we have to get Champions League and there's a lot of teams behind us that are coming up. And, you know, today Lazio lost, Milan tied. So we were able to get a little bit uh, a little bit of cushion in the gap. Um, you know, it's also important because after a loss versus Lazio, which was a direct competitor, we needed some, uh, a comeback. And so it was good that we had a short week and we were able to come back Lattie. and even have a dominating win uh, the way that we had it. Uh, the storyline today is Icardi, you know, from uh, last, last week, last Saturday, or I'm sorry, Sunday, uh, Spalletti uh, made a complete 360. At first he said, oh, Icar I'm on that. Icar oh up. Icardi is not our Messi. And then the next day he said, oh, Icardi is our Messi because he's the guy that scores for us. And in fact, I'm going to make him start. Yeah, okay. uh, you know that's, what? That's, that's, that's the club. It's full of no, that. yeah, exactly. Yeah, let, 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 well, let, let, let Peter finish. Come on, guys. So give him there, was def there was definitely some of that involved. I'm sure there was other forces to be, to be had oh, with, with, with what he said. But besides besides that, Icardi actually played a decent game. Mm -hmm. well, not one of his best games, but he, he was to, he had a chance. He he created. He made the assist, yeah. scored the, the goal, post. penalty. Yeah, scored the hit the post. Uh, he should have scored that. Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> it's good that he's getting these chances. Yeah, well, I mean, he's the center but forward for the rusty, team. You know, so yeah. no, but the point the point is. It's something that we need. We don't have a striker. Last versus Lazio, we had no striker to play. Mm -hmm. Lautaro was out. Icardi wasn't like called up. Nine, right? You have to score a goal and you have no striker is, is ridiculous. Besides that, uh, you saw also the players. They they looked for Icardi. When he scored, everyone went up to him to including shake hands. Including Perisic. Was, Perisic. Including yeah. Perisic. Oh, so, Icardi gave an assist to Perisic yeah. too. So, I mean, it yeah. looked like either they, they were able to really hide the fact or, or fake it. Or, you know, they came to an agreement where they said, you know what, we're professionals, we have to play, it betters each and one of us, we get into Champions League, we get our bonuses, and that's it. We don't have to love each other, but we shake our and hands, we, figure it out in we, the summer. we, okay, we celebrate got, each other. Hold on, let ahead. me say one more thing. Ooh. The only thing is, uh, Icardi and Spalletti, which I think there is still friction involved, he did not, when I, I don't know, because it wasn't too clear. I see Icardi go past Spalletti. And they like brush shoulders, and that's it. So I don't know if there was actual a handshake or what not. You, Maybe if somebody could, can look that up, yeah, I'm looking that would be great. But besides that, it was a dominating win, a win that we needed. Yeah, I guess and now we have four points that ahead of, of Milan. It's all right. Are you done with your rant? <laughs> I think okay. I finishes now. Wait, four I, points I like the rant. Right. I, like I, just, <laughs> I, I like to know what your take on this stuff here. I think, I think that Spalletti is into the tank of... Oh no! The, yeah, they they definitely did not. Spalletti is no, into no. the tank they, of they Marotta. They put shoulders. Yeah, Yo, see? listen to me. Yeah, yeah. Spalletti is into the, ta jack. into the tank of Marotta. I'll tell you why. Those guys they already made a decision to ship Icardi out. So now all they have to do do some damage control, put the guy on the field, make sure he just he he gets so he gets his the price. his credential right? back up, and he's you know and he's starting to score Absolutely. in and out. They t they put a, they put some duct tape on on Vandanara for a uh, for a few weeks, which I I disagree. I think she's a great, great. You like the way she speaks. Yeah, I like that. She's a great I agent, love Vandanara. Right? So. Top agent. Hey, she's the agent. You know, yeah. I wish I had an agent like that. So anyway, here's the point. Here's the point. Spalletti's gonna go too. 
And so he doesn't know that even being on the tank with uh, uh, Marotta, he's going he's gonna to get his ass kicked. Now, what he did, what he did is been executing all Marotta, all Marotta, uh, you know, uh, credo, credo, the, which is telling him, I want this guy here emarginated, just to humiliate for a little while, strip him from the captainship, sit him around, sit him down. Icardi would have, been a, would have made a big difference uh, against uh, Lazio, I believe me. If Icardi Absolutely. would have been on yeah. the game, Absolutely. That, that it would not be a, a loss for Inter. Icardi would have made a huge difference. And Icardi was in, in, the, in the condition to play. Why was he sitting on the, on the, on no, the stand? Spalletti, yeah, least, Spalletti said very we clearly. Yeah. We, dis have, we discussed wait, at the park. He should have brought Icardi at no, least on the no. bench. Oh, he, he, could, he, could have, he probably could have put him on the bench. And I spoke to my dad about it, and, and he, felt, he felt that they could have handled it better. He doesn't like how Spalletti is going one way and the other, which, which I agree yeah. with that. Oh, I, I thought that Spalletti, if you're going to stick by a statement, and I think that Spalletti, he has the right idea at times, right? Nah. And he starts saying it, and it makes sense. And then for some reason, he always goes overboard. Like, there's no need yeah. to say... You're gonna the an Inter fan is gonna be humiliated because he's a punk. You don't have to say he's not decisive like Ronaldo no, no. Messi. But it's he not, always takes it over the line say, and then yeah. he makes himself look stupid Sometimes afterwards. Look, no, when somebody wait, when somebody tells you that Icard is not a Messi, Icard is not Ronaldo, what does that tell you? Icard is garbage, technically. No, no, yes. No, it doesn't. No, it's you not about the garbage. Yes. It's, it's about yes. that. He said you are not no longer welcome of here. We're gonna use See, you for a so little bit more. Piontek is not Messi, Piontek is not Ronaldo. But he's nobody garbage. said it. Nobody said it. He shouldn't have said it. Nobody human being. That he you don't say it. things like I that. I agree that he shouldn't have said it. I believe that since Marotta came in, uh, Spalletti's shoulders they feel stronger because he's a great he's a great manager. He did a wonderful job at uh, at Juventus, and now he feels Spalletti mm. feels that he's saying Marotta. His back, Marotta. I'm sorry, he's saying Marotta. Not his Spalletti. back is is covered, meaning that the 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 club is saying Spalletti, whatever you say, whatever you decide to do, we we back you up. But now, if the club is not speaking, the officials of the club are not talking, he has to go to a press conference and say certain, certain things. Mm. Only very few people, I think only one Danada, the, 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 uh, the team, the, uh, the players, the club, and Marotta and uh, Spalletti know actually what happened 40, 50, 50, days, uh, 50 days ago. So now, either Spalletti got word from from uh, the club saying okay most likely he will leave we're receiving a couple of offers we received a couple of phone calls people clubs are interested in marotta now millions in Icardi, here. In Icardi. i mean in, in icardi that we're probably going to sell him but if icardi doesn't play the price of course will decrease yeah if he plays inter will get more money during the uh, at the transfer market mm. so what i'm thinking is there had to be a little bit of, of, of talking in the locker room on Tuesday night that, you know, he got called to the team and he had, there was some form of apology. Not a huge one, but a little apology. He did speak to the team. He had to. How Number, do you know that? Is that official? He's, he's saying based off what it's happened. Based, based what, it's it's, it's what my opinion. I mean, the locker, right, room, right, right. the locker room expects... You're speculating this. So you well, cannot, there's no science based, on this. We don't know exactly. No, there's no, 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 there's only, we only know that. No, that is for sure. But mm -hmm. what I'm thinking is the locker room expected some kind of an apology. Mm -hmm. And I think he did address the locker room in one form or another. Mm -hmm. Maybe not what the team expected, maybe a little bit less. And then, like I said, maybe the club, a couple of phone calls, but okay, are you willing to sell the card? What are you looking? The more he plays, the more the value mm -hmm. will go up. Yeah. This is this is what I'm thinking. You got to display the this guy on the field if you want to sell him at a reasonable price, at an adequate price during the transfer market, so you and you don't want to lose. Personally, oh, I think. That? Personally, I think. I, I think yes. I don't think he will be able to. I don't think he, it, it's something that with the, with the rest of the team. Unless Inter gets rid of those two, three guys that three, he had the friction with at each. the beginning. Oh, but guys. either the Brozovic, the, uh, the, uh, the Perisic. E either way, either way, though, I think that no, whether Icardi leaves or whether Icardi stays, he has to play right now. So Correct. whether whether it is to get his transfer market high or whether it is to Correct. try to get him That's back, he has to play. He's getting guys, paid. He's getting guys, paid. let's not forget the main objective here, okay? We could have issues... Uh, Icardi could have issues with players in the locker room, Spalletti. There's one objective here that the club is requesting. The Champions, Champions League. League. Exactly. We have to get the Champions League. We have to get these $35 million that the, the, in order to... We have to make Champions League. Yeah. So what's going to give us the better chances 
of making Champions League Icardi, and not being yeah. so Icardi. Exactly. So, bottom line, then you know the club will put the foot down and say, "Listen, we we we, we can't jeopardize this. Yeah. We are too close, you know, too close for comfort. There's two, a couple of teams, three, four points behind. We, we gotta get to, to the. We gotta get to uh, the." Uh, we, 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 you know, we have to get to the promised land. I can't believe that this thing here, they just, I mean, where this... It took way control, too long. It, too went, it got crazy. Cassano, Cassano was already on the money several weeks ago when he already told Van der Naar oh. on Tiki Taka. He said, listen, do me a favor. Just tell your husband to go to, to the locker room. And just, you know, even uh, pretend that, that you're apologizing. Because he needs to say, play. Cassano yeah, said the same uh, thing. He said, you're, you're a player. You need to go and you need to play. Sure. And you need to do your duty. No more excuses. I, I think it definitely got out of hand. And I think that there's miscommunication and a lot of egos that were into this situation. Correct. And and I think, like, just to touch upon what happened, I think Spalletti, his first press conference, which was on Sunday, and then the one that he had right before, I mean, I think that that's Marotta going behind the back. He's saying, listen, oh. man, you screwed up. You weren't supposed to say that. You were supposed to say something else. Right. You shouldn't have taken it to that far. Because even Spalletti, I was watching his interview, and the guy's, like, standing there asking for them to, to pull yeah. something else. He was literally, he was telling them. He said, go, ask me what you want. Say what you want to do. You have it, to. You have to at a point. That guy is a little you, nasty too. He can be a real nasty guy. I was, I was seeing the way he was taking one on one with the, with the, the guy who was asking him the question on on uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. on uh, the, the transmission over there. I said, uh, you know, he kind of felt rattled. In other words, hey, let me make the question. Let me answer the same question that I'm making. Myself. Yeah, he was. He was this very. Is how you, this is how you asking me, not a. You know, it, it was like. Uh, I agree with you on that. Yeah. I agree with you that he. I think he could play oh, it nervous. smarter at times. <laughs> nervous. That guy's got an attitude. And you know what? He doesn't have the talent to have an attitude. You can have an attitude only when we have talent. That guy doesn't have any talent. Who's, Who's gonna have a big oh, attitude? Oh, that's why. You agree <laughs> with that? That's what I was gonna say. Do you say. agree with that? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Spalletti doesn't have any attitude. I mean, doesn't have any talent. So when you have an attitude, you better back it up with talent. The guy's got no talent. I understand this point. Who's, who are we talking about? That no Spalletti. Talent? Spalletti. Spalletti. But it's not about... Uh, Ancelotti. Thought... Ancelotti. Or uh, Capello. Or... Uh, I don't know. I, Ancelotti, but it's not... It's not what... I don't want... I don't, I'm not here to defend Spalletti. But Spalletti was put into a situation that it's not easy to Very handle hard. by any coach. I mean, uh, you know, the uh, uh, Spalletti... Uh, tells uh, Icardi, oh, you, you're right. playing in you Vienna. And Icardi, say, and Icardi says, no, that? I'm not coming to Vienna because my knee, you know, my uh, my, uh, my, uh, my knee hurt. And then, uh, oh, my knee is still hurting. But according to the medical staff of Inter, he's fine. According to his It's not doctor, an easy situation. It's not an it's easy not. situation. Not that he handled it well, I'll but it's not an easy situation. Take on that. I'll tell you my take on that. Spalletti is using his, the same attitude that he had with Totti when he taught her, I said, I don't care about who you are, how many goals you scored, the fact that you made it the history of Italy, the fact that you won World Cup, you won everything that was there to be won. Yeah, he definitely doesn't so care. So what he, he did, yeah. what he was trying to make a statement, he was trying to punish Icardi at the same level that he did punish Totti. Because the more you complain, the more you're going to get punished. Icardi wanted to be into the team at least two weeks ago, three weeks ago. Icardi had no but issue. But I don't think, I don't think he Icardi punished Totti. No, he, he did. If Totti is not in shape and, he not, and, he's, at a, and he's at a certain Bullshit. age where he doesn't he run anymore, he's a fear to the rest him. of the team Listen that two guys have to run for him. Listen to me. He did not punish Totti. He humiliated him. Okay, okay? so, so Totti, Totti is the is the king of, uh, of, of uh, is Giulio Cesare of Rome. Yes. He, with half a knee. Not in Bologna. shape. Hurt. That's not true. That's not true. To make that the, is the, not true. No, and you know that. Go. Ludovico, I agree with you. Because, listen, uh, Spalletti actually broke a record that season in Serie A, the most points for Roma. And I feel yeah. like he got so much criticism for not playing Totti and all the fans. But again, again, them. again, there's a little bit of a balance between it. You I think it. I think that in both of your statements, you're both correct. So I, see I your have point. to play a player who's not in shape just to make the fans happy? And just... But, but don't but, humiliate the player and just at, pull him in only for two minutes. At the same time. Don't do it. At the same time. <laughs> don't do it. <laughs> don't do it. Don't ask me to come in for two minutes. I'm the greatest player in Italy. Are you asking me to come in for two the minutes? In Italy, but he's Are you also kidding 37, me? 38. The so what? But at the same time. At the same Jeez, time, guys. But at the same, uh, <laughs> Antonio, crazy. that's not, that's not uh, Spalletti's fault. This, I admire you, Juventus. Okay. And, don't pack okay. your bags. Now, Juventus, <laughs> Juventus, Juventus, how many players Juventus, Del Piero, Buffon? Okay, Buffon, Juventus to that, said to say. Buffon, one more year, 
and then Chesney will be the uh, will Number be the, the starting. Starter. Now Buffon could have made Buffon could have made nine thousand nine hundred and ninety nine Superman saves. Mm-hmm. But he no would have not received a goal the whole season. Zero goal received by Juventus in thirty four games. You, what do you think Juventus would have done? Either way, that they made the decision, he's saying the decision is done. So now at this point, is the club that did not back Spalletti on the Totti situation. The club should have said to Totti, one more year, and we're not renewing your contract. But no, again, the club mad. did I'm not want to go. Don't get too mad. The club did not want to go against the, the fans. Wait, easy, easy. Listen they to me. They went to say it to Marquisio. They did it to Del Piero. Piero. Who else? Buffon. Buffon. They did it to Buffon. And other players. Yeah. But yeah. They, did, they did not humiliate Del Piero. They did not humiliate Buffon. He's saying when you get him because they went before. When you get to the point. Spalletti, Spalletti humiliated Totti. No, he did not. He did. Because the club did not speak up and say, Totti, one more year of contract and, and then you're done. The, when the club says, oh, Totti, you could retire 50, it's up to you. He, what is a coach supposed I to do? I disagree with you. I disagree with uh, you. He humiliated him. Okay, okay. But he, listen. Not once. Listen. Just many, many, many. Just Many, many just to times. see, just to see both perspectives, I think that this goes back to the same thing that's happening with Spalletti now, where I think that he could handle a situation a little bit better, where you could go to the media and you could lie a little bit, and you don't have to exactly say what you always say or what's on your mind or how you really but, want it to be. Mama, you could play. You a need a club to back you up. Okay. You fair need enough. a club to back you up. Fair enough. A lot of similarity to Mourinho. What? 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 what Mourinho does. Mourinho Don't won. Me. Mourinho won everything there is Mourinho, to win. Mourinho. Mourinho put Pogba under the table. Pogba but it's one of the greatest players. What did he do? He made him play a position he didn't like it. Then he benched him. Then all of a sudden, he gets kicked out and Pogba, Pogba is the greatest player. He wins the World Cup. Well, that could be he said, that could be United said with any coach. That. that could be said with any coach. Any coach could have problems with a certain player. Like it's who? Not- like who? Like who? What do you mean, like who? Like it's only, it's only Mourinho. <laughs> it's only it's not true. Mourinho that did that. It's not only. No, it's look at Ancelotti buying Conte, 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 Conte when he was at Juventus. Conte when he was on Juventus. They got him out. With Krasic? Yeah. Conte okay. when he was on Juventus, they, they shipped a bunch of players out. That, it happens sometimes. Guys, but Each- while, while everybody still got so much tension, I had a question because I wanted you guys to argue. I didn't think we were going to argue now. No, no, it's not about arguing. I just, it's, it's uh, okay. Just, real quick, real, real quick. Again, I don't hate any teams. <laughs> I don't hate There's any players. There's going to be a fight after the podcast. <laughs> real quick. <laughs> you know, even if we hate Spalletti, I mean, we, we don't wish him bad. I mean, no, we hate I, him I, because... Uh, you know, we don't agree with each other. We, I mean, we don't hate him. So, well, you I hate him hate, because yeah. he won two times in a row. Oh, yeah, yeah, easy, from easy. a footballing perspective. From anyway, a football way. I, I, I right want to ask you guys, who do you think and who do you think is the best Polish striker? Matt Milik. Piontek. <laughs> <laughs> Milik, Milik no. comes from a great European Hello. soccer school. Which Hello? one? How many goals did Milik score? Your... How many goals did he score? A lot. Okay. 16. How many goals did Piontek score? Milik comes from the Ajax. Answer my question. Answer my question. How many goals did Piontek score? 20 or 21, right? I think. No, 20, 20, 20. 20. 20. Piontek, Piontek. Well, how many did he score so far? 20. He scored 20. Milik scored 16. Uh, and Milik, Milik has 16. Hello, how many games? English. How many games? How many games? Give me a second. We'll check ratio. We'll check ratio. I think Milik might be high in ratio. No, Milik is a more Experience, uh, jeez, you guys are huge. Uh, well-rounded. They're all saying he comes from game. a great soccer school. I think Milik, Milik comes from Ajax. What about Piontek? What about Piontek? I don't know. Piontek comes from where? Can he get Where does he come from? He came from a Polish <laughs> uh, team. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Well, you, you, wish you, had Piontek. you wish you had Piontek. No, no. I rather no. I rather keep Milik. Okay. All Milik, right. if he's healthy, Milik can guarantee you. Like I said okay, before, I the got podcast it. I got it right 15 now. goals a year. Milik was unlucky for Piontek, two years. He got hurt Piontek the whole has, season. Piontek played four more games than, uh, Ooh. than Milik. Ooh. What does that mean? Uh, no, that I'm just mean? saying. I didn't say I'm not saying. Four more games four more is games. four more goals, goals, which is four more goals. goals. <laughs> as... <laughs> <laughs> no, right now, no, no. Piontek, Milik also plays. He has behind great players, mm-hmm. which right now Piontek does not have at uh, at uh, at uh, at Milan. He does he's not have the players. That Napoli had. I would love to see Piontek with a in Napoli. <laughs> no, no, not in Napoli. <laughs> with a in a in a team where the 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 the, the content of the team, the, the midfielders, it's a better team, you know, technically and and with better players on the roster than than uh, than this year. Then 
then we can uh, and a better I'm coach. Say, I'm trying to say that Napoli is better than AC Milan, and then uh, I don't wish I don't yes. we play Napoli. <laughs> That's exactly. Are we, what are, are we playing the Napoli, uh, AC Milan, and no. Napoli? The, uh, listen, over overall, listen. Uh, right now, where you are and where we are, <laughs> oh, oh, think, where you oh, are, shit. it's very very cold. It's minus <laughs> ten, oh, minus no. eleven. You're still that. wearing a coat, a hat, and a scarf. <laughs> it's very cold down there. All right, all right. It's very cold. That eight points. All right. Eleven okay. points. Eight eleven. Point. Eleven. Oh, my minus God. eleven is, my See, friend. Minus eleven is the very season cold. Season is not over. Season it's very is not cold. Over. Minus eleven. Oh, by the way, way, what happened with Napoli? Maybe today? you need my. Uh, maybe you need my hoodie. <laughs> they lost, right? They lost, right? Today, right? All right. Oh man. All right. What? Yeah, what's the wrestling for Europa League? What? What? I don't hate Milan. I wish. Milan the uh, the best I wish Milan makes it to the uh, to the Champions League what I said on Sunday was a Milan right now they're not they're not in shape they're not they're not playing their best soccer they're not playing the soccer that they played a couple of months ago mm. when they were running 150 miles an hour everyone was running as a team you have a few players that are out of shape now you have a couple of injuries so they're not performing I just feel right now that Lazio has a better chance because of the roster that they have, they have a midfielder that they can really, if everyone is healthy in Lazio, they can really move the ball. Very good segue. Move the ball. Because, because the we need to talk about 1-0 uh, right. Lazio lost to Spal, which was 89th minute penalty kick awarded to Spal and Petania. Actually, Milan product. Thank you. <laughs> I, I didn't give you a compliment. I'm Thanks, just stating man. the back. If you're watching the podcast, thank you again. <laughs> um, and Spal got got a, an incredible win over over Lazio, Lazio. which Important. really Crazy. helps you in in your favor. Napoli today deserved to lose. No, no, Lazio. I'm here to Lazio. Say, no, no. Lazio. I'm talking about Napoli deserved to lose. <laughs> okay, and Lazio also. It's not easy to play against these teams yeah. that are fighting to stay in Serie A. Yeah. That they are two, three points. So, so uh, different. Udinese, tiny, tiny AC Milan is not really a big, uh, you know. So we should be consider ourselves lucky at least we didn't. But lose. you're playing at home. Yeah. So what? <laughs> <laughs> you win, you win. You lose, you lose. So, so what? you know, yeah. someone comes in your house, brings a lasagna, and eats it. Uh, <laughs> then there's a problem, yeah. right? And you have a problem. <laughs> 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 Bring a nice is. tray of lasagna. Uh, I'm yeah. hungry again. <laughs> <laughs> no, at home, I, at home. <laughs> but, <laughs> You see, these guys having fun too. You see, <laughs> they were they were there, they were hiding a couple of weeks ago. But Who's hiding? Right? Right? Come on, all right? over the place. Uh, yeah. I told you, I, I said right? Milan's right. flying right. high. But at that time, we were talking. We was like, Milan's flying high. I want to see what happens once they get their yeah. first loss. Atalanta. In three uh, games, be a great one game. point. Bologna, Atalanta is a great game. Show me the next. Uh, uh, tell me the next games. Uh, uh, what do we have? Oh man, Napoli, Genoa, Sunday, two thirty oh, after we, dinner. You know what we have next? Inter Atalanta. Yeah. Juventus, Milan. Milan. Play next. I don't know. Juve. Juventus. Where? Torino. Yeah, in Torino. You're going to Torino. Oh my God, the schedule. Padre Fio Spirito Santo. Yeah, Padre Fio Spirito Santo. <laughs> we're going to do, a, we're gonna do another bet this yeah, year? Or? A little prayer over Cut there. The but that's Saturday, correct? Yeah, Saturday. Because Juve plays on Tuesday. Yeah. You have, you have a chance. Trust me. You, you have <laughs> a chance. chance. You have to change, but you have to play the game of your life. What, what would be your percentage? Because you you're not going to play against that? Juventus. I would, say, I would say Milan is winning over there. One nothing. Wow. Do you want wow. Gonna, wow. Listen, wow. What's <laughs> wow? I'm not going to say... I respect... The one thing I respect about Antonio, he never doesn't go for his... I mean, I'm not when gonna he does say, the psychological thing. I'm not going to say he that he's drunk. I'm not going to say that Antonio is drunk tonight. I am not. Mm -hmm. I actually <laughs> see it. Because I don't think you're going to see the Juventus play, you know, the game that they're capable of playing because they're playing on, uh, I, I believe, yeah, Tuesday. Yeah. Correct? They're going to play yeah, the Tuesday or Wednesday. Um, I sure. believe it's, it's Tuesday. Gonna, it's gonna it's Tuesday. One of those. Yeah, one so you're not going. But again, you have to play the the game of your life. If Milan is going to come out with uh, uh, you know ricotta legs mm -hmm. and 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 and, uh, <laughs> and, and play on the uh, you know and play and like uh, you know like ricotta they would say in Russia legs. babushkas, then. <laughs> We'll see. Juventus it's doesn't Wednesday. have to work Juventus hard. Play Wednesday. This good, then Juventus this doesn't have to work hard. This is a good time to play too. Juve though, because they're not 100 percent in Agreed. the match. So it's and be and good. Juventus, all Agreed. Juventus need is six points out of the next eight games, and they win the scudetto. Mm -hmm. Mathematically. So mathematically, so it's not like they need to win this game. They could win this one, and then you win. And now we're starting to find excuses already. Just okay, you know, we didn't have to win the game. We win it. Oh, that goes there. No, right? we went to win. Team. So they already starting to throw themselves. No, but right. I mean, there's no excuses. How can a team find motivation in Serie A? That has 20 points different. 
How do you motivate a team like that for Sunday? Champions League. I mean, for Saturday. Oh, you're saying for that? You, you can motivate listen, them. You have a, even listen. if you play the 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 second the the the, the no. second. That is the problem. The second squad in Juventus is the first squad anyway because they all are, you know they all are national team players. Correct. But now are those players willing to give 150 percent? I don't think they if are. If they want to they stay in Juventus, gonna, they are going to give the 150 They're probably going to give 100. But if Milan could win that game, you have to play you could with win. fire I think, in your eyes. I think that I think Don, you Donnarumma, Paqueta, and Conti are going to be huge, 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 loss. huge, huge losses for you. Um, if you want to make a bet, I'm open to it. If you don't, I completely understand. Pizza. I feel bad. I do feel bad. I'll bet you. So. No, it's okay. Pizza no, is no tie. No sure? tie. For you. No tie. It's only I said that you win or win I win. win. Oh, no tie. What's the bet? What's the bet? I'm not going to do the Napoletano's bet. What's the, the bet? And in other words, he gets the tie and the win. <laughs> <or> like, <laughs> but you were, but you were playing in Milano. You were playing away. So the way they, they're playing home. So you got to give them the tie and the. Uh, I ain't giving them nothing. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> we're winning. Or that's it. That's no, it's it's it's, it's the right time. It's the right time of the year to play Juventus. Can, can we get you to put? Is there any it's way? The right we, time of the year. Is there any way we could get you to put a Juventus and Inter uh, Inter banner Listen, at, the, at way, your house? After that game, who are we playing? Double check. <laughs> For, double check. After well, that we'll game, check that. But playing. my question. Yeah. Is there any chance that we could get an Inter and Juventus right outside your house at the uh, same time? It's not time? happening, believe me. <laughs> it's not no, the Inter one you have to. No, the Inter one you already lost. You made the bet. Honor system. <laughs> <laughs> Pete, you look good on that body hat, I'll tell you. Thank you. Peter, uh, Antonio, let me tell you, they're playing Juve first, and then they're playing Lazio. Aye. Uh, it's okay. Wow. That's all right. That's a double win. Wow. You can lose. Okay. If you and lose Lazio both games. And Italia, too. And, uh, the yeah, week after. Italy, it's not until, uh, yeah, 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 yeah I, I'm later. looking. Kind of those are two games. And, and those are two must yeah, win. I can kill you. Those, Listen, we, we even, play even Genoa. A two, even a tie in two, those two ties would be fine. I mean, I think a tie would. We actually, play Genoa. Be, a tie won't necessarily. And the two uh, fan base of Napoli and Genoa, they. Mm -hmm. Gemellaggio, Gemellaggio, right? yeah, they have Gemellaggio yeah. for over 40, 50 so what years. Does that mean? <laughs> Auma, Auma. Meaning what? It's I like think, Inter well, Lazio. Well, they can bring some pesto to Napoli and we make, uh, we so make penne with pesto. That you guys are going to give a couple points to Genova to, uh, you know, to be friendly? Uh, I don't think Genova needs it at this point. We were talking about yeah. this before. I, I think, think they Genoa, do. Six points, it's not a lot. I don't think lot. Genova needs, but are you going to find the Napoli concentrated? Are you going to find the Napoli motivated? I mean, you you have against, you know, you have Arsenal on Thursday? I doubt it. So it's going to be one of those games where yeah. I'm not going to hurt you, you're not going to hurt me. No, then if the goal happens, happens. Oh, but, uh, happen. but now you, you have to come out on Saturday against Juventus. You have to come Definitely. out no, no, yeah, yeah, with yeah. fire in your eyes. I mean, and Milan, you can do it. Milan has a lot more to play for in this match than Juventus Absolutely. have to play for. So a what do we have, more. Mike? What do we got? Well, yeah, get, get, let's questions? finish off with some questions. Okay. A couple of questions. It's been funny. Uh, let's, uh, we got some good ones over here. Just some quick fire questions. We can, uh, we can uh, answer them quickly. The, <laughs> the first one comes from Nick Kunda. He said, "Where do you?" I'm just going to throw a few... Uh, Players' names that could be transferred to somewhere else. We're gonna go with Chiesa, Barella, Tonali, and Zaniolo. Where what could you see said? them going? Each one. No, All right, start with the first throw... one. Okay, I can't remember. Okay, everybody. Chiesa. Chiesa. You let see... him go to Juventus. It's I don't think loser. Chiesa is going anywhere. He's, he's gonna loser. stay. I think really? he's gonna stay too. He's a loser. Inter. Inter. Inter or Juve. Inter or Juve. Yeah. He's Inter or Juve. Okay, Barella. He's Barella. Be... Barella is leaving. Could be Inter. Inter. Milan. Milan is not a bad place too. Milan. Inter. I think Milan. Barella, Barella is leaving, but he's only Milan. gonna go on a team that will uh play him as a leader. Champions League. He has to play. Okay. Well, Champions League, without a doubt, and he has to play, he has to start with. Mm -hmm. So Inter Milan, you think? Milan. Milan. And even Napoli. Napoli. I wouldn't be surprised if he comes through. Nice. But he well, but he would have he would have to he would have to start. I think healing. he deserves What happened with Fabian Ruiz? Ruiz if you bring Barella? The thing is, Alain remember Ruiz? Verratti, mm -hmm. Napoli got him. Yeah. Verratti came from Pescara mm -hmm. with yeah. Insigne yes, and right. Immobile. Yes, yes. Napoli got Verratti, but Mazzari back then said, you're going to start on the bench. He wanted to play, and he went to PSG. PSG. But that would have been a, that could have, that would have been a Napoli player. Okay. The contract was already signed. Next guy? guy, Tonali. 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 This could be Milan, too. Milan. It could it be Juventus. If they go to Serie A, I think he might stay with No, them. he's not going to stay. You don't think so? No. How old is he? Listen. 19? I, something like that. Ludo, I think he's going to stay. Ludo, he's my take. If, stay. Stay. Milan, stay. if AC Milan doesn't sign Milan again. Milan need a technical midfielder. Like Bakayoko, that. if they don't sign, if they don't have the money to sign Bakayoko, I think they're going to bring Or Barella. even if you let go of Kessia. 
Okay. Well, Cassie, I think they're going to keep it. But I'm the, just saying. Those are the two, those two, guys, might, those two guys are key for AC Milan. But you, either way, you need another midfielder. Definitely. I think. Definitely. I think both Inter and Milan need to play but, like Fabian Ruiz. But Roots. then we have a Bilia. We have Bilia that is still mm. a... I'll tell you what. No, if you, could get, if you could get one of Barella or Tonali, I think oh. it would be very good for Def, you. Then Who's you have the to sell one. You have to sell one. Who's the next one? The last guy for this is Zaniolo. Zaniolo is staying in Rome. Juventus. I think he's staying in Rome. Zaniolo is leaving. He's staying in Rome. I you think, think he's saying? Is saying that, yeah. I say he's they give him two point five million. But at the end of the day, Zaniolo is still raw. He's still a raw player. He's not a developed guy that could Just really like step Chiesa. into. He's no, no, no. no he has as much more developed than. But he's still a raw player. No, no. Chiesa is one hundred percent making the jump. Chiesa is Zaniolo. not worth the, the money. Chiesa, Chiesa on, on the left, Politano on the right. Wow. And Zaniolo right behind him. Messi is striker, right? And Barella. I like Chiesa Barella. Uh, okay, that next, was a good question. I next, like that one. Next question from Nawal. Yes, Pete, you've been drinking a lot. <laughs> <laughs> the bottle of Amaro is gone. Oh yeah. Where would it go? Nawal said, uh, "How should Spalletti, how should Spalletti act with Icardi and Lautaro? Should they play both together or one on one, or how should they do?" Gotta it? try both together. Both. I, I don't think both. There's, I think they should just do Icardi and then Lautaro. No, you you'll play the four three one two. There's, there's no need right now. Ball, play the four three one two. They're similar strikers. I don't think he'll. I don't he'll think they're similar. Them. He's not gonna play them together. Okay. Why not? Because you already his What's formation is set in stone. There's no reason to change. And what it. is his formation, by the way? What is it? It's either four, four two, three, three, three three or four two three one. That's how he's been playing Mike, the whole time. Go to the next question. He's not going to leave. He's, going he's not going to leave. Just of each other. Go to the next. He's one. not. Okay. Next question from Victor. He said, "If Milan make the UCL, <laughs> if uh, what is a UCL? <laughs> oh. How much? Uh, how much do you think Milan will spend, and what players do they need?" Milan doesn't need a lot can of they players. They I don't think they can players. spend. I don't we, think they we, can spend a lot of money. There goes that question. <laughs> no, no, they have the uh, fair, uh, have uh, financial, fair play. Play. financial fair play. I don't financial think they can spend play. a lot of uh, but we can a make lot of trade. Money. We can make the, some some decent trade that uh, you know. That, trade? Even Roma was forced to sell because mm. of the financial. We, uh, uh, we, who, who wants Antonio Donnarumma? Do, uh, anyone in the market? Maybe we could do a Bilia Dybala swap. I'll take Dybala. I'll take Dybala at any time. Just get, yeah. Let me tell you something. Yeah. Icardi, Give me him and Musacchio. Icardi and Dybala, they might. They might. They yeah, might. That, that could be possible. PSG okay. and Manchester City, they will always be allowed to purchase players. Yeah. Yeah. At any yeah. price. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Have yeah. you ever noticed that's, that's every time obvious. PSG and Manchester City purchases a player, guest prices go up five to ten cents a gallon? <laughs> Where, in Italy? No, all over. Oh, all over? Well, yeah. listen, they, they're very... They, all over. They, they, know, they know how to put... Uh, thing together, they go through uh, one route and another. One. I saw, I saw a thing on it how they were able to pay for Mbappe and Neymar. Just notice, umma umma, right? And the, <laughs> and the guest prices. Go I still up. don't know what that means. Can you tell me what umma umma means? <laughs> you can't explain. I'm that low, right? It's it's umma umma. umma. It's umma umma. It's, umma. Umma. it's uh, you know, under the uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Umma umma. Maybe. Under the table. Umma umma. Right? Under the table. Uh, yeah. Like umma. this, umma. behind the bed. <laughs> <laughs> and under the table. Okay, the next one. It's Kajiso said, if push comes to shove. Who should Inter stick with, Icardi or Spalletti? Ooh, so if you had a pick, oh, wow. I would stick with Icardi. I think they're both gonna go out, <laughs> unfortunately. But I, I would stick with Icardi. I would keep Icardi. I would really keep Icardi. What's when gonna you be get interesting? Icardi, you Spalletti, got Spalletti, Spalletti's done. What's gonna be interesting is if Spalletti leaves. I think Perisic already wants to yeah, go for a long work. time. Let him go. So could work and Brozovic. So Icardi might be able to stay. The only thing is the whole thing that might be offensive to him was the removal of his captain armband. So. That's no, what he's we gone. have to understand. He's gone, Pete. He's gone. He didn't I, remove the uh, captain. No, 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 Inter did. That, that Inter, Inter did. The the club. Club. Yeah, Inter did. Yeah. Yeah. So that's the only the thing captain, that could... By the way, today... Anonovic. Anonovic is the captain. captain. Oh, but that's no, Anonovic. Is. He's not going to give Icardi. No, he I will give it back to Icardi. Are you crazy? What? And I, 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 actually, I will give it to Vanda. Yeah. I will give it to Vanda. <laughs> Spalletti, that's all it needs to happen. The, end of the, season. Yeah. the yeah. field will be Very an ambition. No, the thing is, it will be an ambition on the field if he got the guest the captain's arm. Then you're going to see 80,000 fans uh, riding, riding on the, uh, on the Spalletti field. has proven himself that he's not able to bring this team more than just Champions League. He can't win the Scudetto. Spalletti Even never though with won all stuff, and also never won it's unfortunate yeah, we because never you've seen the Russian league. All the team, but the Russian league. Come on, <laughs> right? It's not easy. The Scudetto, the Scudetto, the Scudetto uh, Peter. It's not easy to to compete against Juventus. Yeah, Juventus but not... plays in a Serie A of its own. Yes. I you, understand that. You cannot that, compete against them. Not, their, not their this revenue, gap. Part. Their, this gap is too big. Last one. Okay, next question. The gap is too big. It's too big. Next uh, question. All the clubs, it, it's too big from, from Juventus. Quinon Salta, whatever this means. Uh, what is that? Name? What does that mean? 
No, no, it's not his name. It's oh, just, just keep going. Just keep going, Mike. Yeah, just keep going. Keep going, Mike. Okay, they say if you take away Chiesa from Fiorentina, they're a bang average team. Uh, will they be fighting for a European spot next season? They're barely fighting for it now. If they lose him, I don't think... Di, Di Francesco I, might go next season. I think I, Di Francesco could do good. You think it'll make good. a big difference? Even I don't, without no. Chiesa? <clears throat> no, I don't think oh, it'll make okay. a big difference. I I'm just saying Di Francesco. I disagree. Chiesa, Chiesa is not a big difference maker like everybody else wants to believe over here. I agree with you, Antonio. He's a good Chiesa player, but I feel like everyone's fighting. What do you want? This is a bad what, take, What do you want? This is a bad take. But based on the roster, but based on the roster that Fiorentina has... He's their most important player by a mile. It, it did give a few. Kiesa brings points no, I to the that. table. It brings Jonathan goals but he's and points to the. He's he's not, not a franchise player, player, Ludo. It's not a franchise player. player. It's What's not a different player? maker. He's question? a big difference. He scores. Nah. What's your next okay, question? Last he question. Scores. Last question for the night. I, made I have it up a question. My own. I have Come a question. Uh, who do you guys think is getting relegated? We probably know Frosinone and Kiev is going down, so I'm going to name the other five teams that could Bologna go down. Bologna is going to say. I, I want the third place team that's going down from you guys. I'm going to name them. By the way, can we give credit well, to Bologna too for their Mianovic, win but Mianovic, before? Mianovic. Not yeah. this week, but last week. Also, Frosinone, they came we back, scored 96 minutes. We talked about that, right? Mm. But no, uh, we, didn't. we didn't talk about no. it. Okay. They ju they just did. So the third team that's getting relegated. Okay, Kievo's getting going down. Frosinone's going down. So the third one's going to yeah. be Bologna, 27 points. Empoli, 28 points. Udine, 29 points. Spal, 32 points. Sassuolo, 32 points. Holy shit. Parma, 33 points. Cagliari, 33 points. And Genoa, 33 points. Who's the third team going down? I think it's one between Bologna, Empoli, and Spal. Okay, no, I think so too. I got to pick up one. Yeah. Empoli. Empoli. No, Empoli, Empoli. I don't... Empoli is going down. I don't, I don't uh, see. I can't believe Empoli I don't and Spal both. I think. I think I, it's between. I think it's between Bologna and the uh, and Spal. Bologna with Mihailovic. Bologna I think go down. I'm scared. I'm scared that it's gonna be Bologna. I don't want Bologna to go down. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I don't. Want, I think. I, I think it's between what he said between Spal and Empoli, and. Give me one. I, no. know, I will not be surprised even if Udinese goes down. Uh, but yo, they got Chicho Caputo. He's been pushing them a lot. I'm gonna go with Spal. I think Spal's going. I don't like their logo. I would say uh, Empoli. <laughs> <laughs> he's trying to go to that just because they like the logo. It looks like a kid drew. They gotta modernize that. It looks ugly. Peter, you go. Uh, I would say Empoli because also Spal has such history. In the '60s, they were one of the top teams mm -hmm. in Serie A. And then also Bologna has won the, the most. Plus the market, the market. Empoli's a small town, small market. So I, I think okay. Empoli would be better in Serie B because then they can go back up to and Serie A because they have a good youth system. Mm. Youths. You, <laughs> you, <laughs> yeah. he wasn't even here for that. You, you know that, right? Wow. I got a question for you guys. For what, what I, want? I don't want my cousin Vinny. I'm oh yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> you weren't here for that episode. No, I was like, what, what is it? We're talking about youths. They just youths. brought this up. You said it just like yeah, that. I know. Um, I want to bring a question real quick, Last and uh, of the night? we have a, the interview with Chicho Colonesa coming out on Friday, and we spoke about this in it. Real quick, don't get too emotional. The talks about San Siro getting demolished. Ooh. Antonio. I it's, it's bad, but it's good at the same time because, you know, the revenues for the team, and a team of a caliber like AC Milan and Inter Milan, they need a stadium that they, they can actually feel it's their own stadium, not sharing the stuff and not sharing into the revenue uh, uh, portion. You know, the fact that a stadium now is a structure that will function uh, 365 days a year. It's not just for the game. It's just bringing the family. You have the party. You have the tours. You oh, have a, a, you oh, can bring... Uh, it's a lot of activities now uh, attached to a stadium. Go to the Yankee Stadium right now. I mean, uh, you can just fall asleep watching the Yankees losing. But at the same time, you have video games over there. You have the Yankees... Uh, uh, the Yankees uh, naming know, uh, rights, all it's a lot of money. With the stuff. Right. What's your response to people who say that they should rev uh, renovate it because um, no. San Siro is too historic? No, you you can renovate a, a structure like that. That, that structure has been oh. renovated several times. Okay, you can't. Okay? This is Antonio's expertise. Yeah, by the way. I'm so, number one, one. number two, renovate. number two. You can spend as much money as you want. You're never gonna get Perfect. the results that you're gonna have. Number three, the capacity of San Siro right now is 80,000 80, spectators. What what AC Milan and, and uh, Inter Milan they're looking they're looking like a, 50, a Juventus 60, 50, 60, top, even half, top even 60 half. is a lot. I, I would mean, say I think 45 for, to 50,000. But they go to these Milan 60, I think, I think more right. Inter fans yeah, go than the Milan fans. fans. Yeah. You will, you, the, you, you the will the bring. I don't think demolishing the field can erase a stadium can erase a team's history. I don't think so. I'm so surprised in your guys' response. I really thought you guys were going to say other the, stuff. No, no, no I think... I wow. think the San Siro has been called La Scala del Calcio, yeah. not for... Uh, yeah. 
uh, uh, over there. But yeah. I scala del calcio because based on what both teams have won in the past, right? Because of the, the history the of the of the. Yeah, but, but you even, cannot just keep putting band aids on these Italian stadiums. They are the worst of uh, European football. The it's not. But even Yankee Stadium was a monument to uh, to uh, Yankees. Uh, Yankees are one of the most famous franchises right. in the in the world. Babe Ruth and and they a still, lot of players. They still build the new stadium. They, they still build the new stadium, but you cannot take away. You know, you you have Monument uh, right. Park. You still cannot take away the the uh, the. You you still the feel it. Yeah. The the but the history you know of what the. the funny, uh, the funny part about this question, I and I like the question, is that the San Siro is you. one of the few stadium that doesn't ever have the athletic uh, uh, the field, field all around the for the running for yeah. the Olympic. Yeah. And San Siro is very it's a beautiful stadium. I mean, you go to San Siro, you can watch the when game. It's full, Even when, when it's full, full. When it's full. correct. You, when you it's have, not full, it looks you have, that's when what it's I'm saying. So, but you can never, you can I mean, guys, the Napoli, we the San Paolo Stadium. Yeah. I mean, that, and, that should and be guys, yeah, yeah, that that needs to be guys, cover. I mean, you know, cover your ears. It's a bathroom. Yeah, yeah. It's it is. It's um, I, I feel it's falling apart. Yeah, it's when, when, when I go into the Napoli Stadium, I simply want to cry. Mm. It is really, wow. really in bad, bad, in bad, in bad shape. Shape. But it's not the Laurent. It's not his. You know, he's not gonna. It is. It's not his call. But it's. I want to keep going. I want you to continue on that. No, no. I, it, you, you want to cry? Even, even my brother was surprised when we went to watch two games at Christmas. I mean, the walls and the and 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 the the the, the bathrooms and. And the seats, uh, like the you know, full of the bird there. shit, and ev- everything. It's and plus to see the game, you need it, it's far away because right. of so the athletic. Correct. So now Napoli is a stadium. Now they're gonna have the um, the games, the uh, university games, and they're gonna put a big screen. We don't even have a screen. Right. 2019. Oh, you don't even have a big screen in, the, in 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 Napoli. That. <laughs> so that I am disappointed. Yeah. So I feel that there should be. Uh, a lot stadium. of stadiums in Italy. The same way be. Roma is getting the stadium, AC Milan ah. is going to get the stadium. Hopefully, Inter- is going to get the stadium. I think uh, Napoli. The Peter, mm. I doubt it. What do you think about Napoli? Is a different world. San Siro. There's a lot of history. I mm. mean, it's hard because it, there's so many games that have been played there. There's so many. There's yeah. so much. You are in San Siro. You, you walk into history. It's yeah. like we're talking about Rome, the, the Roman yeah. Empire. When you're going into that, that exactly. San Siro, no, no. It's, uh, but also, like you go there, you feel something because mm-hmm. you know what what has been like. It's a battleground. You know mm-hmm. what has been played on the mm-hmm. field. But then, then you think about you know moving forward because this is also a problem that's not just Inter or Milan. It's all of Serie A, mm-hmm. right? We cannot compete financially because of certain limits that we have. So, I mean, look at England, the way they've been able to monetize and and really, uh, you know, gain profit off of their stadium, off of marketing, off of, uh, you know, strategic marketing. And a you know, big thing is also stadium, and like Ludo was saying, naming rights. I mean, even Juventus, right? They just changed Juventus Allianz. Stadium to Allianz Stadium, and there's a lot of money coming in. Now they're able to spend money on the Cristiano Ronaldo, attract the big names. And the women's but, games are yeah. there now. You could do whatever you want when exactly. you own your own you stadium. And Juventus Stadium, you could go on a tour. Yeah, exactly. exactly. So you, you're selling I the went, stadium. You go inside the, the, the Six days a week, beautiful. you go in the locker room, Seven you pay, days. and you, you, you exactly. see all the, uh, the trophies. Have, now, if Inter and Milan would have something like that, no, you know, La Scala di Calcio with, with a Based room, a museum. All, with with all the tourists that go in and they're all, you know, Inter in Milan, Milan fans, they would have people there. They would definitely And it's go. a train ride, it, it's yeah, a train it's right train. away. I mean, yeah. it's, it's a 20 minute uh, yeah. a train less, ride to go, to, go see, to go see the museum, to go see the... Yeah. And eat something and, and take advantage well, seven be, days to a week. Fair, to be fair, to be fair, to be fair, the Serie B championship too? No, I don't know. Two Serie B championships. People going to, the, to the Inter Stadium Two Serie B championships. What are you going to watch over there? Nothing. What are you going to watch? The triplet. The triplet is all you need. The triplet is all you need. Seven Coppa Campioni. Come on. And two Serie B championships. See, you. this is why, this is why Juventus is ahead of everyone else in Italy. Also, I mean, from this right aspect... Yo, even when, if you believe that, you never say that. Because they no, got... I speak, no, I speak... Guys, this guy's drunk. Yeah. I speak... Nah, he speaks it, it, it has to... The mentality has to change. In Italy, the going to watch a game, you're going to watch a game. Right now, the world is changing. It is an event. Yeah. And you have to get the most from that event. You have to get the most of what you... 
of, of what you have. And you have to put it on display so the fans will come to you but, seven days a week yeah. and not only those two hours on the yep. on the weekend. So you have to utilize everything that you have. To be fair, San Siro already has a museum at uh, the stadium. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, they, they've been able to use it. The only thing is they can't put any stores, they can't put any shopping, they can't put any VIP boxes extra that they already did. Easy. Even though on the bottom they've put in, uh, glass and they have the VIP box. Yeah, but it's like, yes, but every it's 10 not seconds, the same. these guys passing by, Pira, Coca-Cola, Shish, Marijuana. Yeah, relax, man, easy. Just to conclude, no, to conclude, <laughs> Chicho in, in his interview with us, he said that it's the first time he's ever agreed with uh, Andre Agnelli's statement, which was that if uh, Agnelli said, if it was me, I would I would create two separate stadiums. I would give Milan oh, yeah. a stadium. I would give Inter a stadium. He said because the amount of things, he said a stadium needs to be 365 degrees in today's football so that you can monetize on it. And I think for the agree. betterment of the Serie A, completely agree with what Ludo said. And as much as you, it can hurt, sometimes we you got to pull the We have to change culturally. What do you do with There the has to be a cultural movement. 300. Italy is still behind in respect to the other European nations. You know what would be nice? They should. We are still behind. But can by you the model way, it? We are can here you do to it? bring Italy back Anton. up and we will, all right? Yeah, Antonio, right can you do it? Wrong. Absolutely. Can you do it? Let's, <laughs> let's, let's make the new stadium model off of San Siro, just on a smaller scale. Well, Did, it can be done. It, I mean, you, you have that great design. Don't forget that Milan has got one of some of the greatest designers in the, in the history of the game. One of my teachers, and uh, here, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm sure he's dead right now. His name is uh, Vittorio Gregotti. He's the one that designed the stadium of Genova. Really? Oh, yeah. Genoa Stadium is one of my favorites. It's beautiful. It really is. Yeah. For, for Genoa, it's beautiful. So, you yeah. see, the way you see, it's, I mean, it's I tried to buy a, a jersey and I tried to buy a scarf. You can't buy one. I got an espresso inside of a plastic cup, <laughs> like over here. They have a nice cool spot over there. But, but they do have a beautiful, you can see the game. It's, yeah. it's English-esque. Um, anyway. Uh, I think it's time to conclude. Very, very, very good podcast. It got heated. Good points. Um, I liked it though. Punching. Well, we we went through a lot of emotion. It was a roller coaster of emotions today. You oh, guys you almost want, beat each other. Go get the hat. Go get the hat over there. Yeah. Antonio, it's a little cold. You might want to put it on minus four. You know. <laughs> Put it on. Minus 11, you need a hat. Put a hat you on. You catch Put a hat a on. Guys, uh, for anyone who didn't see, Antonio was in uh, Munich, and he got a, a Bayern Munich Antonio jersey. He By also the way, got a Wooster, I think. Did you? Yeah. Did you? Did you buy yeah. a Wooster? Yeah. yeah. Nice. Uh, Bayern Munich also posted about it. They said Grande Antonio. You see? You see? Oh, English. <laughs> they said it in German or no? In, in English. English. Okay. In English, yeah. Oh, you wanted to say it in German? They, they said, said Grande, Grande Antonio. So it's, it's Italian. Italian. Oh, there they you go. have a dictionary for you. Antonio. Oh, yeah. yeah. Wow. Good, good. Antonio numero cinque. Okay. Um, anyway, guys, as always. <laughs> it's like thank... the Luca Toni song. Yeah. Numero uno. Like Milan's <laughs> numero uno. Oh, shit. <laughs> Damn. Everyone's going to say, I hear Milan. Guys. I don't even know what So, what do we say? Good night. Yeah. Buenas uh, noches. Uh, auf Wiedersehen. Das Auf Wiedersehen, yeah. auf Wiedersehen. Auf Wiedersehen guys. So, <laughs> hey, listen, guys. Do we Down have to rate it? No, no sale, sale, but we got the pistol auto shirts, we got the culture tees, show everything at time for TV. Show. Oh, beautiful. All guys right. scoring like crazy. So, uh, I don't know about like crazy. Oh, you scored so, yesterday. Uh, you Every know. shirt being sold, they get a slice of lasagna. Best of luck for all of Maybe you. Yeah. Yeah. Made from Ludovico. Yeah. <laughs> Best of luck for all of you for uh, for the uh, next uh, week coming Thank up. You very and much. except for you and you. And then was, I hope you lose and I hope you lose. <laughs> what about you, Antis? No, 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 we play against you Genova. Know, you lose and I hope you lose. It's okay. Genova. Genova. <laughs> As always, thank you guys. Talk to you. Ciao, guys. Ciao. Ciao guys.